We're gonna paint the jar with uh, chalk paint. Uh, and this color is cottage white. So it doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna put the napkin on top of it when this dries. When you're working with napkins, this is a fairly easy way to do the separating because napkins come in either two or three different layers. And you need to make sure you get down to just the top layer. So you're gonna fold it out, take little bitty pieces of this masking tape and very lightly stick them together and it will separate out. Now that was just two pieces, so let's just double check that there's not another. No, that was just a two layered uh, napkin. And that's how you separate the napkins. Now that the paint is dry on the jar, we're gonna start working on how we're gonna put the napkin on the jar. And I think I'll do the, do it similar to that. And I'm just gonna take it and just put a little snip right there. Cause that is about how far it's gonna be. Now I'm not gonna cut it. What I am gonna do is take a little water Edge of the bottom just a hair again don't use too much water because just lightly do it yeah. and it won't give it a hard edge to it All right, now we're going to start the gluing process, and I'm just going to glue a little bit at a time. I'm using the Matte Mod Podge. And you want to make sure you get it all covered because when you miss a spot, it isn't gonna stick. Be careful about rubbing it too much because you will rub a hole in it. And I do it all the time. And you can, and when you do rub a hole in it, most of the time you can patch it. And I don't mind if I get a few wrinkles in mine. Makes it look a little more vintage. Straight enough. All right. Yay, didn't get it too short. I'm just gonna kinda go to the around the bottom and get a little bit more on that. And I think at this point, I shouldn't say it, but I almost have done a whole project without tearing a hole. Now, I'm going to let that dry probably overnight. I'm not going to rub anything. I'm just patting it down. If your finger gets gluey on it, 
stop and get it off because and that's where see it will pull it up I think to dry it I'm gonna let it sit upside down like that because the bottom has got Mod Podge on it I'm gonna spray a light coat of the clear polyurethane on the Mod Podge jar and after it dries I'm going to spray another very light coat and let it thoroughly dry. Now all we have to do is assemble the soap pump. I got this at Hobby Lobby. And of course I waited till it was on sale, which things go on sale every other week in Hobby Lobby. I might hope the insert top bottom two done. Insert pump tube through top of the lid and twist to tight. Ah, okay. Read the instructions. 